Prince County, North Carolina has a rich tradition of collaboration, bringing organizations and individuals together to improve the quality of life in our community. Whether it's hurricane related flooding or dealing with the everyday issues of healthcare in rural communities, we are dedicated to maximizing every resource. We seek new opportunities to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of those services we provide and that philosophy extends to the greater community through partnerships with health systems, public schools, municipalities, and businesses. Together, we open doors of opportunity to new pathways of success for all of our residents. I'm Lee Goose with North Carolina Cooperative Extension, and I'd like to share a few of those efforts with you. Every year, over 700,000 individuals are incarcerated and released from the United States prison system. And upon release, significant numbers face barriers in reintegrating into society. Many justice-involved individuals lack basic resources, such as housing, transportation, employment, or education. Others need treatment for mental health or substance abuse problems. Without intervention, high rates of recidivism perpetuate a cycle of crime and already distressed communities, resulting in more victims, higher cost to taxpayers, and pressure on an overburdened justice system. The Pitt County Local Reentry Council coordinates community resources and addresses service gaps to help those recently released become independent and productive members of society. The Reentry Council works closely with the North Carolina Department of Public Safety to identify funding sources and partnerships to meet the needs of returning citizens. Since 2015, 500 individuals have transitioned back into our community through the reentry program with a recidivism rate of 15.9%, which is well below the 43% state average. Successful reentry, well, it depends a lot on post and pre-release intervention programs. An example is Third Street Educational Center. They provide vocational training and connect people formerly incarcerated and those recovering from addiction to gainful employment. Another example is the SHARP program, the Sheriff's Heroin and Addiction Recovery Program. It's a volunteer program providing education, counseling, and medication-assisted treatment for individuals while they are incarcerated in the Pitt County detention system. Sheriff? I am Pitt County Sheriff Paula Dance. Substance abuse and mental illness are significant barriers to successful reentry to society. My office founded SHARP in July of 2019 and recently expanded on this innovative program with WARE, the Women's Empowerment and Recovery Program. No other detention facility in North Carolina provides such comprehensive programs as these. Although less than one year old, early outcomes are very encouraging and with several graduates thus far. Thank you, Sheriff. Poor access to healthcare can lead to the misuse and overuse of our emergency departments. Our hospital, Vidant Medical Center, is burdened with non-emergency visits and readmissions to the hospital from frequent users of the emergency department. Our rural population has a disproportionate number of minorities, elderly citizens, indigent families, and residents with chronic health issues. Many residents in those rural areas lack primary care, transportation, and social support services. The Community Paramedic Program is an innovative approach engaging residents outside the traditional healthcare system. It expands the paramedic role to provide health care and support to those lacking access to physicians, pharmacies, and health-related resources. So its primary goal is to provide an at-home paramedic level care experience that will decrease non-emergency calls and avoidable readmissions to the hospital. In 2019, nearly 25,000 911 calls were for ambulance responses, and of those, 28% were 
didn't warn an ambulance, there were not emergencies. Decreasing that number helps us make sure that ambulance resources are available when true medical emergencies occur. The Community Paramedic Program is a collaboration between health providers, Pitt County government, and community partners. And in 2017, Pitt County Emergency Management received a $100,000 grant from Vidant Health to establish this pilot program. Working out of the county's Emergency Services Department, the community paramedic regularly visits patients in their homes and assesses their health and their environment as well. She provides immediate clinical care, health education for the patient and caregiver, and coordinates additional services as needed. As for results, patients enrolled in this program have reduced their ambulance and emergency department visits by 50%. That is significant financial savings but consider the increase in confidence and peace of mind for patients and their caregivers. My name is Carla, and a few months ago, I became the sole caregiver of my 78-year-old grandmother. Now, despite her multiple health issues and my still learning how to provide care to an aging adult, we found new life and independence through the knowledge, resources, and assistance provided by these great and caring community paramedics. Thanks, Carla. Pitt County is in the top 14% of counties in the state and the top 12 counties nation, top 12% of counties nationwide in our agriculture receipts. Over $242 million. Yet, 22% of food insecure 22% of children in Pitt County are food insecure, which means they lack a reliable source of healthy and affordable food. Our communities of color are disproportionately impacted by poverty, poor nutrition, and chronic disease. Some residents suffer high rates of poverty, considered persistent or generational poverty. In response, our county commissioners signed a resolution declaring racism a public health crisis. In 2015, the USDA Farm Services, they gathered a group of individuals, health professionals, elected officials, and North Carolina Cooperative Extension to discuss how a local food council could impact Pitt County's food system. In 2017, our county commissioners established the Pitt County Farm and Food Council to promote a sustainable, equitable, healthy, and economically viable community food system. This is a 13-member council. They are demographically diverse and they represent different places on the local food system. Following several public forums and a local food system assessment, the council established three committees to address food security, farm and economic development, and food and nutrition. The council has expanded access to local farmers markets, developed a food finder app to connect users with nearby food resources, and participated in the racial wealth gap learning simulation. The council strengthened local farms by hosting NC Farm School business training and brought greater attention to the importance of agriculture by hosting a farmer appreciation dinner. During the pandemic, members contacted businesses, churches, and even local high school athletic boosters trying to find food packaging materials to help our school nutrition services pack food for kids. The East Carolina University School of Medicine partnered with the farmer's markets for bulk purchases of produce and temporary storage of that produce that they use to teach patients with obesity healthy cooking. The Making Pit Fit Community Garden united with Catholic Charities to provide seedlings to local Latinx families in need. And then they also worked with the Council on Aging to provide produce bags for seniors at risk. Community Garden Coordinator, well, she's kind of a local celebrity with children around here because she has an interactive way 
hands-on approach, and lots of songs about bugs and gardening. Joni? I'm Joni Torres, co coordinator of the Making Fit Fit Community Garden. A chief component of the Farm and Food Council's mission is to raise awareness about local food systems. At the community garden, hundreds of children and adults have learned how to grow vegetables, some for the very first time. I also provide technical support to participating schools and childcare centers as a means of enhancing STEM and nutrition education. We are growing new gardeners. Thanks, Joni. Through strong partnerships, innovative solutions, and committed community involvement, Pitt County is opening doors to opportunity and creating new pathways for our most vulnerable population. By opening these doors today, we guarantee a better place at the table for our entire community tomorrow.